Hi, I'm Sam Dick. My name is Brittany Walker. Hi, I'm Odessa Boykin. Hello, my name is Stephen Becker. So our topic for our video was healthy relationships, and we chose this because unhealthy relationships can be a cause of trauma. We need healthy relationships in our lives to get through the tough stuff just because you can never know what life is going to throw you. And trauma symptoms can affect our relationships and making it hard to connect with others. We thought that knowing what a healthy relationship is, is important because then you know the characteristics and then you can apply those characteristics into any relationship you have. Building a healthy relationship must include honesty, empathy, and trust. You get along with someone, you have like the... So getting along with someone's like you have to say like interests, no, save uh, what do you call it, uh, ideals. It is a conscious decision and knowing the do's and don'ts of a healthy relationship can greatly benefit your relationships. You're not alone when you're forming relationships. Relationships are hard, they take time, they take commitment, they take a lot of trust. Unhealthy relationships affect each person in a different way. An unhealthy relationship can make it hard to show up to school or to work or with your family. Sometimes I often wonder what some of these students, maybe people, may be avoiding or missing out on. They often go unnoticed and under the radar and we felt like it was time to break that silence. Um, I think yeah, they need to know right. what the oh, red flags are about unhealthy relationships and how to avoid them. People's boundaries aren't right. taken care of and they don't communicate well. Abusive, whether that's physically, sexually, verbally, or emotionally, who's controlling this cheating, violence, and touching your partner in lies repeatedly, fighting all the time, and if you have if they're pressuring you into things that you don't want to make you become very isolated. One person is profiting from everything that you guys do as a pair. You give up a piece of yourself to try and make somebody else whole. You just have nothing to give up yourself to anyone. Coming out of an unhealthy relationship is when someone can feel alone or at their most vulnerable point. Having someone or some people to support them is key in order for the healing process to start. Important, I think, when people are coming to us and talking to us about a very difficult situation is that we listen to them, we believe them, and we respect their choices. What we know is the more we can do that, the more likely they'll get support in the future. Develop those nice, healthy relationships and use those to get access to the the support you need. You can always go to people you trust. Trusted friend. A family member or a teacher. Professional support, there's always Cali Sexual Health and the Alex Bus. The Calgary Women's Emergency Shelter, the Distress Center, or the Crisis Response Team with Woods. Come see your school resource officer, your SRO. At this school, we have a really great program. Our wellness center, we have professionals who are able to be there, support you confidentially with any of your issues. They're there to help you if you need it. This is a call to action. We need to make sure that we all have positive relationships in our lives. Relationships that empower us, that make us feel good about ourselves, and that allow us to create the best version of ourselves as possible. It's very important that you just be a listener and um, be available to them, but also knowing your boundaries. Watch for signs of an unhealthy relationship. If you're seeing any of these signs, let the person know and see how they react. If they won't stop, you can end the relationship, and if you need help, never be afraid to ask. Be mindful of what you are doing in your relationships, because once you know what uh, you are doing in your relationship that may be positive or negative, then you can change it so then it's mostly positive. And then that changes the whole mood of your relationship to a more positive experience. And if enough people in your school do it, then it changes the whole mood of the school. Instead of pushing people down, lift them up. This might sound like a small thing, but if we can all show up and do that every day, make that active choice, the results can be huge.